What's going on guys? This is Action Jackson 95 In this video today I'm going to be showing you my complete American Video Entertainment NES games. I have all of them complete in box and even most of them are sealed. Now I know I'm, I'm making this video because a lot of you are curious about my collection. I do have a pretty big collection, especially a lot of them complete in box. Like I do collect, I love unlicensed games and I do love licensed game of course, but a lot of you are curious about what I have so I'm going to start off with American Video Entertainment. I do also have all the other Complete in box games for like Tengen and Sashin and um, Color Dreams, Bunch Games, Wisdom Tree, etc. All complete in box. So I'm going to be showing you American Video Entertainment and let's dive in and see what I got. Okay, everybody, so here they are. This is my American Video Entertainment games complete in box. It's kind of hard to get a good view of all of them, but don't worry, I'll be adjusting the camera for you all to see and I'll even bring them up close. Uh, so yeah, I have every single one of them complete in box, and, and like I said, even some of them are sealed. So, let's take a look at some of them. Alright, so I'm gonna come over here and show y'all- oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come over here and show y'all what I have in alphabetical order. So here we have Blackjack, okay? So, it's actually one of the more rare American Video Entertainment games. It's pretty rare, and it's actually hard to find complete in box. Uh, what's cool about- god, what's cool about this one, though, is that- it does come with a poster, which I've actually never seen before. So, if I open this up for you, you can see right here it comes with this poster. So that's actually pretty neat. One of the more rare ones, it does kind of cost a pretty penny for some people. I've seen it sell between 75 to 115 Alright, so up next we have Deathbots. Pretty uncommon game, kind of pretty cool artwork. I'm not going to say, or not artwork, more like a picture, but a little Terminator knockoff. You've seen me review this game, and you know that I absolutely hate this. But I finally completed it after recording this. And it's also in really good condition, too. Next up is Double Strike. This was actually made by Sashin, who I've, you've probably seen my collection of before. But American Video Entertainment imported it over here, which was a very stupid decision. Because this game isn't really that good. Although it is nice to have, and it's really clean, too. Next up, you've seen my other review of this game, too. My double whammy of Dudes with Attitude and Trolls on Treasure Island. They are basically the exact same game. Uh, yeah, this is another game that is actually... Uh, I wouldn't say hard to find complete in box, but it is slightly uncommon. Don't really see it that much. Uh, next is a common title. Here's <clears throat> F-15 City War. Also, I, I try to collect the best condition possible. It's kind of fucked up right there, but really... Uh, not complaining too much. I, I got this in a lot. Alright, so here's one of my very first sealed games, Impossible Mission 2. Uh, it's in these really big box protectors, but yes, this is factory sealed, you can see right there. Um, I do have the card for this. Every sealed game I have, I have a double. So, I don't really care much for this game. Oh, and interestingly enough, I also do have the... Epics version of this game. So you can see right here I also have the Epics version of Impossible Mission 2. Complete in box. Pretty cool. Different car. It looks nice, but that's not the point of this video. So let's move on. Next is my other unlicensed game. Or I'm sorry, Factory Sealed Crazy Creatures, which I do have the car for. Um I actually have to say this is probably their best game out of all of American Video Entertainment games, I'm not going to lie. Um, it is fun. And finding it sealed, I'm not an expert on sealed games, but I've only seen one. That doesn't mean it's expensive or anything like that. This is, a, this is though. <clears throat> so here's Maxi 15, a pretty common game that like everybody knows of. Yeah, as you can see, I have it fucked up here on the back with no sticker, but... I am getting another one coming in just to replace this clamshell, but it is nice, and it is complete, and everybody, I don't need to say much more about that. So here's my next factory sealed game, it's Mermaids of Atlantis, again, it's an okay game, uh, it's basically just Tetris Bubbles, and if you've heard of the infamous Panesian game, Bubble Bath Babes, it's literally the exact same game. They just changed it with nudity. Next up, we have Puzzle, a game that I just reviewed recently. 
One of the most boring games I've ever played in my life, but I finally just completed it. Um, not much to say about this. It's pretty damn boring. Sorry for my voice, by the way. I'm just getting over a sickness. Next we have Pyramid, another Tetris-like game, but with weird angular shapes. Um, can't really say anything about this game. It is a little boring. This is also another Sashin game. And they also have a Pyramid 2, which I have in my collection as well. Um, cool music, I guess. Next up is another rare game to find, complete in box by then. This is Rad Racket Deluxe Tennis 2. Probably, probably their rarest one to find, complete in box. It is really hard to find this thing out there. It's a really boring tennis game, though. I can't really say much about it. Speaking of boring, which is a common thing for this company, Solitaire. Again, another game that's actually really hard to find, complete in box. It's uh, pretty rare, and I've noticed that it's spiking up in value for some reason. I mean, well, because I just answered my own question, it's pretty rare. But okay, it's just Solitaire. Next up is another factory sealed game, Tiles of Fate. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's just kind of another boring puzzle game, but it is cool to have sealed, and I do have a double for it. Next up is the game that I also reviewed with Dudes with Attitude, Trolls on Treasure Island. Basically a complete ripoff of Dudes with Attitude, just putting those stupid trolls on there. There is a doll that comes with this game, but I don't have that, but I am trying to find that. Um, not much to say about it. It is complete. Pretty rare to find complete in box. So here's the next one, Ultimate League Soccer. Now this is probably one of my cleanest ones complete in box. It is pretty rare to find complete in box. Cart is also going up in value. Uh, this is part of the Kick-Ass series, the only one for AVE. But, yep, it's very, very basic. Next up on the list is Venice Beach Volleyball. A game I just really don't care for, but I decided to finish it. You know, it's not the best on the top, unfortunately, but everything else is okay. It's a fair, complete game. Finally, we have the, probably the most famous one that everybody laughs at. Wally Bear and the No Gang, the anti-drug game starring a stupid bear going around the most ghetto, fucked up town in the universe to stop this kid from trying to say no to drugs, but... It's, it's okay. It's not really that good, though, in my opinion. I, it's more bad than good, but at least it's playable. So, there you go. That is all of the American Video Entertainment games. I'll give you a little quick pan. So, there you go. You have all of these right there. This is one of the many milestones in my collection that I finished recently. That's just a plug-and-play up there of a new game I just got, but it is pretty cool. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, and if y'all want me to see, if you want to see other collections of mine, just let me know.